No matter what size of wedding we're officiating, you and I, whether it's 30 people or 300 people, we all have that same moment in common. We're gonna walk to the front, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna see all those eyes on us, we're gonna take a breath and say, do what? I'm Mark Allen Grolo. I'm a full-time, book-solid, professional wedding officiant here in Toronto, and this is what to say and do to start the wedding ceremony. Now, I want to ask you a question. Let's imagine two scenarios here to get started. First of all, scenario one, wedding officiant turns, takes that breath, everybody's looking at us, and we open our mouth and say, Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and the witness of the people and all of that kind of stuff. You've been there. That's the traditional way to do it. Here's my question. What do guests know about how they're supposed to behave and feel when we start the ceremony that way? I challenge you next time you're in a wedding or at a wedding and it comes to that part, take a look around. How are guests responding? How do they feel about what they're supposed to do, behave, their involvement in the ceremony? Okay, so that's scenario one. Here comes scenario two now. We turn, look at the guests. They're all looking back at us at the edge of our seats. The onus is on us to say a thing to get this ceremony started. What happens when we go with this variation? Well, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, come on now, you can do better than that. Let me hear you now. Good afternoon, everyone. Ah, oh, that's better. Are you ready for an event years in the making? Jill and Andrew are finally getting married today. How about that? And yes, of course, they clap, they cheer, they're engaged. Again, the question, what do the guests know about how they're supposed to feel and behave when we start the ceremony like that? Huge difference. Now, if you want kind of the traditional, more uptight setting, sometimes we will. I don't have to do that in my setting, but maybe in yours it's more appropriate. So then you go with the more traditional, ladies and gentlemen, here we are gathered. That's fine, it's a somber start. But I'm telling you, in Toronto, if you're in an urban center, a modern center, marrying millennials, people who want it, a little bit more relaxed, laid back, casual. I mean, you have all the formality of a wedding. Sure, we're all wearing suits and everything. But we're people hanging out and we're ready to party. So I have found starting with a question, a question that gets everybody pumped and essentially gives them permission to engage, to jump in, to be a part of this as a participant, that really breaks the ice on the ceremony and everyone feels like they're on kind of an even level playing field in the ceremony and there's nothing like it, it sets the tone. So in a nutshell, what do we say to start the wedding ceremony? I'm gonna recommend we say a question. A question to which the answer from the guests is a rousing and excited yes! We're not gonna you know, ask them a question or they have to answer in paragraph form. <laughs> we wanna keep it simple. We want everyone to just, they're excited. They're on the edge of their seat. They can't wait to party. They're thrilled for this couple. And so why not just let them kind of pop that pressure and just say, yes. So the question that I ask is, are you ready for these two to finally get married? And every time I ask, I get a roaring sensation of, yeah, whether it's 30 people, small backyard wedding of 15 people, or whether it's a jam-packed conference room of 300 people, you get that yes, people are excited, and they know they're allowed to feel and behave like a participant in the ceremony. Now the important thing to remember here is this is usually happening before the processional, before the bride comes down, before all the bridesmaids are lined up. Sometimes it's me alone at the front, before the groom comes in with the groomsmen. Sometimes the groom and the groomsmen are standing right there or a variation of that. But this is not after the processional usually. The, the processional is that kind of beautiful moment where there's music and stuff. This is before that. This is right when we're, before we've even started. Because then I move into some opening remarks and I'll tell you what those are. But first, the title of this video is what to say and do to start the ceremony. So we got the say part, but before the say is the do. So when we turn, when all eyes are on us, before we've even said a word, and we know 
we're going to ask a question that gets everybody to say yes. One of the cues that we can give that we are a safe, fun, and friendly presence before we even ask that question is to smile. So the do, what to do to start the ceremony? Smile. Turn, take a breath, meet people, guests, focus in on specific guests in the seats, smile, and we're not talking for five or 10 creepy seconds. We're talking two or three seconds of just smile and then say, good afternoon, everyone. And of course, people don't know that they have permission to reply back. So every wedding I do, there's like a murmur. But then I say, oh, come on now. And people are laughing. Good afternoon, everyone. And then they jump in and then I ask them, are you ready for this wedding? And people shout, yes. And we are off. It is an exciting vibe because this is a party. So we've smiled and we have asked the question. Everybody says yes. Then I move immediately into opening remarks. And these are really important to start a wedding ceremony. So the first thing I say is the couple's preferences around photos. In the planning session with the couple, I will ask them, is it okay for guests to take photos? Or do we wanna kibosh that totally and say, no photos, please. So that's, this is where I make the announcement and you can customize that however you'd like. I usually say, the bride and groom have given us a great gift today. They have asked that we put our phones away and so we don't have to worry about those. There's professionals in the room, they're doing the job, let's just be present. Sometimes the couple say, yeah, it's fine. Photos are fine. In which case I emphasize, let's please be discreet when we take our photos. We're not gonna get in the way of the professionals. I like to name the photographers by name so that they're kind of humanized. And of course I ask people not to take pictures with large devices. Usually I make a joke like, friends don't let friends take pictures with iPads. Something like that, gets a chuckle. And again, this is kind of a, you wanna tell them in a friendly way, be discreet. Or you also wanna tell them in a friendly way, no photos at all, please. The second announcement, opening remark that I make, of course, is please turn everything off. Your phones, your beepers, your pagers, if you still got them. We don't want anything going off in the ceremony. Set all your devices to silent. A lot of the time I'll make a joke to the groom or the groomsmen. Guys, your phones are off. Excellent. Uh, and then with that, let's begin. So there you go. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Leave any comments you have down below. Subscribe to this channel for every week, a new video, a new pointer and pro tip about how to officiate a wedding. And you can grab my free wedding ceremony guide, how to write and officiate the perfect 10 part wedding ceremony. Just grab that, the link is right below. Thanks, see you in the comments and see you next time.